The Center for Individual Rights, a nonprofit public interest law firm based in our nation's capital, is taking the Guam Election Commission and its commissioners to court. On behalf of Guam resident Arnold Davis, CIR alleges racial discrimination after he was not allowed to register for the plebiscite because he didn't meet the definition of a native inhabitant of Guam. CIR President Terry Pell spoke with KUAM via phone this morning. In our view, uh, this plebiscite, which is going to decide or help decide the future of Guam's relation to the United States, ought to be open to all registered voters of Guam, regardless of uh, their race. Uh, that's what the Constitution says. That's what the law says. Senator Ben Pangilinan, who heads the decolonization registry at his office, however, says it's very clear the right to self-determination is vested in the native inhabitants, which was thoughtfully structured in the law so that it wouldn't be race-based, but rather based upon political action that the U.S. took, which affected those individuals that were in Guam in 1950. And it didn't matter whether you were Chamorro, Filipino, uh, state cider, uh, you know, or Palauan, if you were on Guam in that fashion and you were eligible, that political action by the United States, the Passage of the Organic Act, affected you without uh, your consent. Davis, who declined to comment on the suit, is described as a white, non Chamorro male who is a U.S. citizen, a resident of Guam, and a registered voter. CIR states the way the law is written, it is designed to exclude members of racial groups who are not members of the Chamorro racial designation. However, GEC's executive director, Maria Pangilinan, says, although her name isn't in the suit, claiming the plebiscite as a Chamorro-only election is inaccurate. There were non-Chamorros that were here in 1950 that became citizens because of the Organic Act. Okay. And there are some Chamorros that do not qualify to vote. Davis filed the suit after the Department of Justice refused to investigate his claim in 2009 that Guam's discriminatory voting laws facially violate the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Pell says although the plebiscite aims to achieve political status for the native inhabitants of Guam, the U.S. Constitution doesn't permit a racial group to restrict elections to members of that one group and to exclude registered voters from other racial groups. So, well, it may be legitimate for uh, members of the Chamorro group to uh, make whatever argument they want about the future of Guam. Uh, when it comes to voting in a referendum, the referendum has to be open to everybody.